Welcome back to McPhee Ford, and today we're taking a look at this brand new 2021 Ford Explorer ST. The ST trim level is the performance package of the Ford models. This Explorer ST has 400 horsepower, 415 pound-feet of torque, a fully loaded interior, and a whole lot of fun. Let's take a look at some of the features here. You do have your intelligent access door handles, remote entry keypad. You've got blind spot on the mirrors there. You've got nice ambient lighting in the door wells, door wells, foot wells, and cup holders. Memory seating. You've got a Bang & Olufsen sound system. Power folding mirrors, power mirror controls, power window controls. Moving to the inside, you've got a forward performance scuff plate. These nice front leather bucket seats, both heated, cooled, and massaging for passengers and driver. You've got a nice ST logo embroidered into them as well. Moving to the left side of the steering wheel, trunk release, you've got lighting controls, uh, dimming as well, and then you've got power tilt and telescopic steering wheel with paddle shifters behind it. Getting on into the inside, you've got a full digital LCD display in front of you here. Lots of menu controls in here. You've got tire pressure, fuel economy, trip settings, and you can fully customize this by putting up audio you can go with your navigation here, phone settings, and you can even set up your own separate display with a change in the speedometer to miles per hour, or even showing a tachometer as well. Really, really nice looking features in here. You've got down the bottom your RPMs, your high beams, your odometer, gear selector, coolant temperature, tire pressure, fuel to empty, lots of information in here. Moving on to the steering wheel itself, you do have adaptive cruise control, lane keep assist, media controls on the left side here, on the right side is your hands free and menu controls. Paddle shifters are back there for sport mode and lane keep assist on the blinker. You get this massive 10.1 inch display with SYNC 3 on it. This is where your all your information is going to be, so you have it split into two here. You've got a navigation up here, so you've got fully working navigation in SYNC 3 with home and work location, so you can set those up. You can set up points of interest where are you, favorites, and your recent search history. You've got screen view here. You can search up like a full map if you'd like. Zoom it all the way out. Very responsive, looks really, really nice. Come back to the car. You've got your audio in here, so you've got satellite radio, presets for your radio stations. You've got various apps such as Sirius XM Travel Link, and then you've got all your vehicles stuff in here. So you've got assistance tab with driver's assistance. That's where you get your pre-collision, your speed sign recognition, blind spot, cruise control, all that good stuff. You've got vehicle settings, so you can go in here and customize sound, your clock radio, your, your vehicle settings itself, so the door pad key code, the idle, power lift gate, lighting, locks, it's very customizable. You've even got ambient lighting controls, so you can change the colors so if you'd like to match more, and then you've also got various dimming. Moving down, you do have connectivity, so you've got Ford Pass, voice control, built-in Wi-Fi, all that fun stuff. Moving down to the climate controls, you do have your parking sensor on and off, full rear flashers, and you've got a front-facing camera built into the grill. This is for front parking aid. You have a nice full 180 to 360 degree view here, which is really, really cool. Turn that off. You've got dual zone climate, heated, cooled seats, heated steering wheel for passengers and drivers. You've got your dual zone over to this side here. It looks really, really nice. You've got a cubby down here with two USB ports and a 12-volt outlet. Moving to the center console, you can see that ambient lighting looks really, really nice. You've got your gear selected with manual mode, electric parking brake, brake hold, and your various drive modes. When you change the drive mode, your main display actually changes too. So if you went over to Sport, it'll change red. The gauges look a little bit different. It just looks a lot cleaner. You've got nice matching colors. you also got towing and hauling mode. You've got eco. You've got slippery trail and deep snow and sand. You can take this just about anywhere. Moving over to the top, you do have a universal garage door opener, a blinds or a automatic um, dimming rear view mirror, and then you've also got a panoramic twin panel moonroof located up there. Now getting outside the Explorer ST, you'll notice the shaping is really nice for an aggressive, nice big SUV, rugged look to it. You've got your 
tint around the back here. You've got your quad tip exhaust, your rear park sensors along the back bumper, and a trailer hitch is also installed. The rear view camera is right above the license plate cover. To open the trunk, you press the little button there. Now getting into the back, you will notice you do have a third row bench seat. This is a six-seater SUV if you need the passengers. You do have a cubby behind those seats. Let's say you have more cargo than passengers, you don't need these extra two seats. You go over here, you press this, you get left, right, and both, and they fold right back down automatically. So now your trunk space increases dramatically. And then beside that, you've also got a 12 volt outlet to charge up any devices you want to keep safe in the back. Close the trunk, you do have a button up here, press that and the trunk will come down automatically for you. Getting into the back seat now, or the middle row, on the door panel you do have a nice sunshade to keep some sunlight blocked out, ambient lighting again, more cup holders and storage. Rubber floor mats on the back, and you've also got these nice captain chairs. To get into the back seat, you press this, and the seat folds forward. To push it back, you're good to go there. Getting on inside, You've got nice storage compartments in front of you here. And then for your rear passengers, they have their own separate climate control with heated seats and charging outputs. Like so, you've got two USB ports over here and a household plug. You can change your temperature back there. For the climate fans that are in the roof, for all four seats in the back, which is really nice, you can have your own separate climate. These captain's chairs come with their own armrests, so they're very, very comfortable heated seats in the back. It's just really a really nice experience in the back seat. You've also got two cup holders down here as well. You get another look at that twin panel moonroof, like so. And then we'll take a look up towards the front of the Explorer ST. You can get this nice Explorer deco built into the headlights. LED lighting system in here is high beams, low beams, and fog lights. You've got your front parking sensors along the whole front end of the bumper. Your front-facing camera is built into the grill with active grill shutters. All around an amazing SUV, so make sure to come on over to McPhee Ford to get your hands on this 2021 Explorer ST. We thank you for watching. Feel free to subscribe, and we'll see you in our next video.